Yes, he is. Our final match before our hourly break now getting underway here. It looks like this is going to be a normal match under normal rules with switching disabled. So it's just like your token matches. The blue corner, Cacturn, Crobat, and Duskull. Indeed, and it seems that we have Wiggly Tough, Gulp, and Salamence on the other team. So no gimmick matches now for this time. Do you see any Pokemon that stand out to you in this match? Not really, but what does stand out to me is this very ominous music. It looks like this is the Undertale block for our music, so getting some Here We Are music, followed by Fighting Metaton here during the battle song. Jeez, seems like somebody really likes Undertale. Undertale, a very controversial topic here at Twitch Plays Pokemon, and I've seen quite a few fights over that, actually. Yes, indeed. Now looking at the at the team, it seems that we may have some advantages. While Gulpin has a gunk shot, which can do some massive damage to Cacturn, as well as other Pokemon here like Wigglytuff not having a very good advantage against Pokemon like Duskull. A little over two minutes left, get your bets in. The blue corner, the underdogs right now with a 387% potential payout. Mm, indeed, that payout may change as there are not a lot of bets in right now. Come on, guys, you gotta do our last, you gotta do our last, um, you no know, bet in for for Chef until he leaves. You gotta, gotta make him proud. Yes, indeed. I would love to commentate an exciting match here. Yes, hopefully this match goes very well. I'd like to see both the red team and blue team duke it out evenly. And before I leave here, I'd actually like to wish Big Boyd and Joyce Wu 333 a happy birthday. Yeah, happy birthday, guys. You only get to have that kind of celebration once a year, so why not make it your best time? And make it special, too. You heard it here first from the chef. Yes, indeed. Big Boyd, happy birthday. Oh, and correction, it's not me leaving. <laughs> it's just uh, Mr. Chef here who has to go. After Chef leaves, we're going to get our good friend in for a commentary for the next hour until we both drop off. Drop off the face of the earth, that is. Oh, wait. Hey, there's no earthquake going on here. No fissure. Yes, indeed. Here, <laughs> 40 seconds left. Get your bets in! The blue corner is still the underdogs here. 145% payout. Mm, indeed, it seems that blue's payout is only going upwards from here. Paper Mario Boss comes in <gasps> for our oh, warning song. <laughs> song. 20 seconds left. So goofy. This is definitely going to be an exciting match here. I have a feeling about it. <laughs> I love this music, it's so good. Bringing back the memories, isn't it? Yeah, indeed, I loved playing that for the Nintendo GameCube. I can't remember how long ago it was, though. And here we go, the blue corner sends out their Cacturn, their red corner, their Wigglytuff, as we fight Undyne in the Magma Coliseum. <laughs> oh, it seems that we are readying our Spears of Justice as the red team and the blue team prepare to duke it out. For the last battle for Chef's amazement. Potentially with Spears here. Cacturn goes first with a sucker punch, but that doesn't work. And Wiggly Self responds with charm. Oh, oh, that was cute. Oh, that was pretty cute, but Cacturn has lowered attack now due to the fact that it finds that Wiggly Tuff so cute that it's finding it harder to attack it with full force. Cacturn minus two attack here. It goes for another sucker punch on Wigglytuff. This time it actually gets the move because Wigglytuff is actually readying attack. And Wigglytuff goes for his ice beam here. Super effective on Cacturn. And does not take it down. It does not take it down, but it still has quite the advantage. Now with Cacturn's uh, attack stat, which it mainly relies on lowered, it can't do that much damage to Wigglytuff. And Wigglytuff is probably going to obliterate that Cacturn using an ice beam. And it does. You called it here. Cacturn will go down with that last ice beam attack. 3-2 yes. in favor of the red corner. We get some cactus ice cream. Ooh, that sounds amazing. Mmm, 
just don't eat the spiky bits. Ah, that's the best part though. As <laughs> Robat now comes out with a blue corner with switching disabled in this match. It seems that Red Team still has the upper hand as Wheelie Tuff still has quite a bit of health and Ice Beam is going to do some massive damage to Crobat. Oh, a critical sledge bomb onto Wigglytuff takes it down! Oh, critical hit. I could not anticipate that whatsoever. What a low chance. <clears throat> <laughs> you did hear it here first, as now the Red Corner Force sent out their Gulpin. Gulpin comes in, and it's probably not going to be able to do much damage to that Crobat, due, due to the fact that most of its moves do not have very good, you know, it does try for an air slash, a very weak hit there, as you heard. Gulpin blows itself up! Kapow! Complete destruction! But Crobat holds on through that shockwave. And now the red corner forced to send out their Salamence here, their final Pokemon as Crobat holds on. Indeed, Salamence comes straight in, and it seems that the red team is in a bad situation. Crobat at critical health against a full health Dragon Salamence. Let's see what happens. Crobat moves first and will go for Steel Wing. Ooh, it's going to do a bit of damage, but not enough to take down this very hardy Salamence. Yeah, and Salamence actually defogs it. I didn't know we had fog, but now I can really see clear as Crobat yes. facing this fell. That TPP fog champ is right out of here. No longer, no longer tied down. We can see everything. We can see clearly now. Crobat going again for a sludge bomb, a nice hit there on Salamence, taking it down to half health. Salamence responds with Dragon Pulse, and that's likely to take down Crobat. Indeed, and it, does. it does. And it seems we're now stuck to the last two Pokemon, Duskull and Salamence. How is this Duskull going to work its way through and, per and win for the blue team? The hopes and dreams of the 187% payout. Ride on the Duskull against a half health Salamence. Let's see what happens here. Ooh, it's coming down to the last few moments as Thunderfang comes in, dealing some pretty decent damage off onto that Duskull, probably hoping for a flinch or a paralyzation. Duskull gets neither as it goes for his charge beam against Salamence. A light hit, however, that will charge up its stats, special attack, and. Nope, it's just hard, just a special attack. I think my moves all confused here. Oh uh, yes, it seems that if that if that's if the uh, if Duskull survives this hit, it could do some massive damage to Salamence. And it does survive the hit here. Let's see what Duskull does. Duskull regains some health. health. Lucky, lucky. Here comes a charge beam from Duskull, and Salamence down to critical health now. Hmm, it seems that special attack raises once again, making the next turn being a, the obvious key point for the blue team. The blue corner going for a Shadow Ball, but the red corner going for Dragon Pulse here, as Duskull does hold on once again. Ooh, Duskull is hanging in right there, and it seems that it might be able to take down that Salamence. Especially with this Shadow Ball attack, it does! Salamence goes down, and another underdog victory goes to the blue corner. Giant Dragon, no match for our Tiny Skull Ghost Pokemon. Congratulations to everyone in the blue corner for that amazing payout. It's been an hour of underdog victories here. Always good here. Hmm. Well, did that match appease you, Chef? Will we yes, not need any did. sacrifices? No sacrifices needed here. But with that, I will get out of here. Your next commentator coming on for the next hour, Trapper Cap. I will be back here tomorrow around the same time. Until then, good night, everyone. Thanks for hanging around, Chef. We'll see you next time. All right, guys, we're about to get our next commentator and let us we'll give a warm welcome to Trapper Cap. As our next break begins, mm, we got two token matches up already and Trapper is about to come in. We just got to give him a few seconds. Hey, and we got our good friend Trapper Cap in here and ready for commentary. Hey there, Gravidea. Yeah, yeah, good evening to you. Alright, let's read out some hints and see if we can guess that Pokemon before the break ends. The first hint being number one. 
almost all of its body is in it is its stomach. Its harsh digestive juices quickly dissolve anything it swallows. Number 2. It uses its scaly, rugged body to seal the entrance of its nest and protect its young from predators. Number 3. This Pokemon's stomach fluids can even digest scrap iron. In one gulp, it can swallow something that is as large as itself. Hmm. And again, a warm thank you to everyone who's watching Twitch Plays Pokemon. Thank you for, to the donators and the subscribers for keeping our Twitch Plays Pokemon running for about three years now. Can you believe that? That's divided by ten. We haven't been around for like 30 years yet. Not huh. yet. Almost. Thir wait, did I say 30? <laughs> Yes, guys, we've been around for 30 years, debated. <laughs> 30 years! Yeah, that's right. Hey guys, did you hear about Twitch Plays Pokemon 30 years anniversary? What? I don't even think Pokemon has been around for that long. Alright, it seems that our next token match is about to be chosen. I am hoping for... Oh, all these people are making fun of me for saying 30 years now. I am hoping for a metronome match because that would be pretty interesting to me. Indeed, Gulpin, that stomach is pretty large. It'll digest anything it wants. Mm, it seems that we are going for our commentary copter went down. <laughs> it seems we're going for our run of Dark Stone Gray. I still don't remember the name, but we are about to get two. We got two tokens on the line. Oh, make that ten tokens on the line! Jeez, I want a shot at those tokens. Quite a bit of tokens. Make it eight. Where did all that- where did all those tokens go? Oh no, wait, they're being distributed. Anything but the tangerines. What are they doing here? Alright, it seems we do indeed have a metronome match. The exact thing I was hoping for. We have Jinx, Raichu, and Mew, Meow, Mew, Meow on the blue team, while we have Absol, Magmar, and Ledian on the red team. Hey Trapper, where are you? Huh, and it seems we've lost our co-commentator. He's still here, but he doesn't seem to be around. And he is indeed gone! What is happening here? I have lost my co-op commentator! Well, it seems I am here all alone, and I'll be commentating this metronome match all on my own, so I hope I do good, guys.
Alright, Trapper still hasn't returned, but it seems we're going in strong with a few seconds left before the match begins. My commentary copy is once again freezing up. <laughs> Unfortunately, we have lost Trapper. But it seems that we're going in for our match now, and I cannot see anything. I am completely blind. Someone help me. I can't see anything but seems that we're going into a team skull match. Oh, this is pretty spooky. They've got a bone to pick with us. We're starting out with Absol and Meowth. And my 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 copter finally comes back on and I can see what I'm doing again. Alright, Meowth goes for a metronome wiggling its finger, and we're gonna see what happens. It seems it goes for a swift, which is gonna deal some same type attack bonus. Doing quite a bit of damage to that Absol. Absol goes for a Metro and wiggling its paw. And it does quite a bit of it goes for a Thunderfang, but it misses. Hey guys, it's Pika Lax all filling in for Trapper Cap for now. Hey Pika Lax, you, you've arrived just in time, we've got a metronome matchup. Yep, didn't want to leave you hanging, but I could go for a stun four, but we miss. Yeah, By we I mean me out. <laughs> Absol goes for an encore trying to get that meow to repeat. Um, metronome? Yeah, I guess. Uh, not much use of an encore on an all uh, metronome match. <laughs> Indeed, but it seems that he did not have a choice after Reversal comes in, dealing quite a bit of damage to that Absol, but not enough to take it out. Absol barely hanging on here, using that Landsat Berry. Ups its critical hit ratio as it goes for a metronome into water sport. Mm, it seems that now all the fire type moves coming from the out, if there are any, aren't going to deal much damage. Indeed, let's see what Meowth pulls up now. Because of the encore, Meowth has to keep selecting the same exact uh, metronome slot. So Indeed. that'll drain power points, but it doesn't really matter. Absol goes down. Mm, indeed, that Meowth, that cool cat, sure is carrying the, the blue team. Indeed, up next is Magmortar. I'm sorry, Magmar. Not quite a Magmortar. <laughs> Magmar has a butt on its head. Haha. <laughs> Magmar goes through a metronome, wiggling its claw. So, would that make Electabuzz Beavis? <laughs> no idea, but it goes for a belly drum, maximizing its attack and halving its HP. We yeah, going for another metronome. Still under the influence of that encore. Goes for a tackle! Ooh, deals quite a bit of damage to Magmar. Right now it's 3 to 2 for the blue team. Magmar going for another metronome. Synthesis comes in for Magmar, but it's not even a grass type. It, res it restores the half damage that it lost from its belly drum. Very smart move for the red team. My stream just froze. I have no idea what Meowth just used, but its encore is over. Uh, indeed. Maybe it used an encore itself. I just realized that I'm not actually connected to Twitch chat at the moment. Ooh, Blizzard comes in dealing chilling damage. Is it getting cold in here or is it just me? Nope, it's getting cold in here. Oh, Ember comes in and deals not very much damage to that Magmar. Hey, it just started warming up a little bit. I wonder why. Magmar, in addition to the resistance, also has that water sport up. Magmar using water spouts against the enemy, dealing quite a bit of damage, but not enough to take down that Meowth. Meowth is still stuck. 
Kraut's going for the rollout, doing super effective damage. Oh, and if it rolls out one more time, that's going to do even more damage, taking down Nagmar. Get a three, third one, and it's game over, blue team. Magmar uses poison gas, but it fails to hit me out. And the second rollout misses. Ooh, lucky break for the red team. Like red team might be able to take this back. Sweet cat, sweet cat, sweet cat. Magmar going for a fury swipe. Let's see how many times it hits. It only needs two. Meowth is down. All right, Meowth is taken down by fury swipe. <laughs> Very spicy. Very spicy. <laughs> <laughs> and it seems that the better dream for blues, <laughs> a sweet cat, actually is not a little bit. <laughs> they do not come true. Indeed. Everyone in chat, spam Rick Smiths as we go for another metronome on the red corner. Alright, it seems we're going for Pear's song with Magmar taking down the amount of times that this this match will go on. Magmar and no switching is allowed. Yep. Beacon uses uh, Raichu uses his wrap. It's probably gonna wrap around that Magmar using its long tail. And one sorry, one turn of residual damage from wrap is enough to take out Magmar. Ooh, indeed, Magmar goes down, but its pair stop song still lingers in the air, and that Raichu could be in for some trouble. Indeed. Let's see how Oldenfly handles this. Oldenfly? That's the one I've never heard before. Alright, it seems that this match is coming down to its last moment for Red, at least, as Ledian goes for a wiggle of the... this? Goes for an Ember! Mm, another Ember, that's the second Ember we've seen in this game, but it barely does anything to that poor little Raichu. It's interesting, out of 400 something moves, it picks Ember twice. Raichu goes for Flail, and it's gonna do quite a bit of damage because Raichu is on lower health. Actually, I've made a mistake, it did not do much at all. Parasol yep. falls down to two. Flail actually takes into account the relative amount of health point left on the user, without taking into account the target. Yes indeed, I made that mistake because I thought Raichu was at a lower amount of health than it currently is. Ledian goes for Substitute, hopefully protecting itself from any attacks that Raichu decides to throw. But if Raichu gets off a multiple hit attack, which it doesn't, but if it had, it could have broken the Substitute and dealt damage directly to Ledian. But, uh oh, Perish Song falls to one! Raichu has that echo ring up, which will heal it right before it dies. <laughs> It'll kill it right before it dies? Lydian goes for the heart swap. Here we go for a heart swap. It's a heart swap. Alright. That changes their switch, and Raichu goes for another wiggle of the paw. He's going for a pillow dance. dance. That is weird. Not very effective, and does not take down that substitute. It may have been restoring its health, but Perish Kong finally takes down Raichu, leaving the, one Pokemon left on both sides. The count of Perish Song reached zero. Ooh, that must have been a pretty bad song for it to be taken down like that. Maybe something from Justin Bieber? Maybe it's the song that's playing in the background right now. I'm just kidding, oh, this that's is a great not song. that bad of a song. Yeah, this is an awesome song. <laughs> It's your man, Guzma! Lady, I'm going for the Outrage, that's the Ow. uh, second multiple turn confuse on end move uh, that was used in this match as Jinx goes for his own metronome, goes for a Thundershock. It's gonna do quite a bit of damage, possibly taking up a substitute. There he Indeed goes! Indeed it did. Rest in peace, substitute. Lydian locked into outrage. that outrage. That's a pretty angry bug. Ooh, Jinx down to critical health. Let's see if uh, it can turn Maybe it around. Jinx will get a sheer cold. Nope, yep. least played. played. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> Not a critical hit though, and, it, and that Lydian keeps hanging on despite confusion. Yep, the two turn outrage might 
be trouble for the red team. Indeed, but Ledian moves past that confusion, getting ready for its attack and using Outer Sweep. Heh. <laughs> Trying to sniff out the opposition, huh? Yeah, but there's no moves that will not affect Jinx. Jinx goes for the double slap and misses. <laughs> no slaps to that bug. No swatting away that Ledian. Fading in again, breaking through the confusion. Goes for a power swap. Power swap switches their powers. Once again, another swapping move is used. Jinx decides to use Ice Beam. That'll do massive damage to Lydian. And Ice Beam hits. It is down. Payout goes to the blue team. Nice 57%. Payout for blue. Indeed. Rest in peace, Ledian. Olden bug. We have successfully debugged the Coliseum. <laughs> Debug. That's a good one. Anyway, it seems for victory. The mission is complete, Fox. Return to base. Yeah, guys, Red totally threw that match. I can't believe that. Alright, we're going for our inputs on the match. I mean, the side game. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Looks like left is the uh, popular choice here. We're finally going to be getting out of this bunker. Indeed, let's see where we end up. Hopefully out of here. <laughs> Ten more seconds, get your inputs in. Two tokens on, on the line here. Ooh, you have a very small but important chance of getting yourself two tokens. Ooh, and we're finally leaving. Wait, where on earth are we? 